warning for social media users about a scam involving the West Dallas Powerball winner. An impersonator is attempting to bait victims for their personal information, tempting them with a slice of that $750 million jackpot. Hannah Jewell was in the studio with what we all need to watch out for. Hannah? Yeah, these are just a few of the posts we're seeing up on Twitter and Facebook, all using the name of Powerball winner Manuel Franco, asking for retweets and messages while offering the money. Then there's the catch. Seemed a little fishy to me. It may look like him. Sometimes when it sounds too good to be true, it really is. And maybe his name. I figured it was a scam right away. But these are not the real social media accounts for Manuel Franco, the man from West Dallas who won the $768 million Powerball jackpot back in March. I really had nothing else going on and I thought it was interesting, so I did play along. Ricky Lotta of Big Bend was told he was randomly selected to receive a portion of the lucky winnings. He'd asked me for personal information like my uh, full address, my name, uh, my phone number. Before taking the bait, they got to the point where he'd asked me to go to Walmart and buy him eBay gift cards <laughs> in order to claim my prize. He ended the conversation. Clearly ended up being a scam. Jim Temmer with the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin. We've seen this before with this gentleman's name. Says this scam probably won't be going away soon. This is just a way to hook people in with their emotions and wanting something for free. You're giving up your money or your personal information and you're not getting anything. The bogus accounts are easy to find. After just a few minutes, we've already found dozens of fake accounts, some of them pretending to have already made payouts of thousands of dollars. To avoid getting hooked, I think it's pretty rotten that someone would do that. Lada is hoping his experience will help others. I was kind of worried about maybe someone might fall for this. The Better Business Bureau had another potential victim contact them a couple weeks ago saying they had almost been scammed by one of these accounts. They all hope this warning keeps anyone from getting scammed, especially coming up with the holiday season. Ted, back to you. If it's too good to be true, we know how the rest of that saying goes. Hannah, thank you.